we'll go back. Ewok Templar. Doom 64. Oh, this is either the last mission or the fourth mission from the last mission? I'm very confused because it says that it's mission 28, but it can't be mission 28 because that may get the last mission. But at the same time, there's this room with all the ammo and two power-ups, so... I think the thing we're gonna test out is see, can you have two power-ups at the same time? Megasphere and vulnerability. This is a big arena. All the enemies to have a bunch of right at the beginning. It's the skull face boys. I knew what I was doing better. Doesn't look like you can go back into that room after you mess up. That's fun. Okay, so I definitely want to kill those dudes that come out. Hold on, not not like that. That is dumb. Why would I do that? Definitely want to kill the fireball guys quickly, right at the beginning. Any rockets? We can do this. I think we finally got all of the fireball guys. Now we did.
Is that a cyber demon? What even is that? What the what? <laughs> okay. What do we need to do? With this? Do I need plasma gun them with this first? Keep moving, keep moving, keep shooting. The old shoot and scoot method, oh god. Well, that's gonna ruin it. Still one summoner alive, God bless it. Okay. Oh, you should be good. Really? Oh, I can't grab it because it's going to launch me? This is stupid. It's kind of pointless, doesn't it? All right, what am I supposed to do here?
Really, I hit that. Okay. All right. All right, game. <laughs> Come on now. I'm playing on normal. I'm not saying the final boss should be easy, but... Can I get some direction? What the f- Okay. game was fun up to this point. <laughs> Challenging but fun. This is just like, well, then... What do I do? I swear to god there's a puzzle element here that I don't get. I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I'm super confused. I like the ability to activate this. I like the ability to activate this. Oh, so this just these boxes just kill me. Okay, that's cool. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and look this up because wow, give me a second. I want to see what the real answer is. Okay, the bottom line is. Get good. I was supposed to close the doors while I was fighting the demons. Huh. Let me try... Because huh. from what I saw. Right. What we're gonna wanna do is go for the doors immediately and try to close them.
For some reason, I can't close the doors. I don't know why I'm not allowed to close the doors. Doesn't work out well for me at all. Okay. Okay. Let's think about this. Let me check on this. <laughs> Let me look for the answer for this now. To summarize what I've done, <laughs> I have cheated <laughs> to get the keys that I didn't know I was supposed to be collecting throughout the game so that I could be able to shut off those teleporty doors real fast. Um, but I have them now, so this should be a, a lot easier because I'll be able to close that door, those doors, then fight the demon queen without having to use all of my ammo and health fighting all these demons. I gotta wait till they start spawning, so I gotta come over here. Oh, what's happening? Inability to activate that. What do you mean? The game decided for me that I still can't do it. That goes all my health. That's good. I got the keys though. What's going on? Alright, well. We tried. One thing we can do now is turn on invulnerability. Because life's not fair, and neither am I. I was, I've been fair with this game for a long time. I didn't cheat this entire time. And now you want to tell me all of a sudden, by the way, if you didn't get the three demon keys, which I guess were hidden in secret levels, this, this fight's really difficult. So, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. After fighting this thing a few times, after dealing with this horde of enemies, nah, we're, we're square. We're square. You know what I mean? We can... It's hard to beat it. If you had all the demon keys, it's super easy because you're... Uh, I forget what, it, what that what that gun's called. But your demon gun. Your demon laser gun. This one right here. It does... It shoots super fast and it does a bunch of more damage. I don't know why the cheat didn't work for me. I would like to have done this without invulnerability. But at the same time... It's Doom 64. I mean, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to do here? I just wanted to see the ending. Alright? The story was already confusing enough. I mean, it's not confusing. I mean, you show up to hell. Everyone's mad at you. I saw out of fire. Her only missiles are a problem. I dealt with them. You sort of want to go back and forth towards her so that the home missiles slam to the ground behind you. And we, if you have the max out laser, it literally like kills her in like four seconds. Sort of a trial and error thing. I really hate those yellow fireball things because they sort of thump you into the air. And as you can see here, like I, I would have been dead by now again. I would have been dead by now with these homing missiles. That is a lot of damage you have to do to her. That is that is banana sandwich. Difficult. If I had known, if they had told me, by the way, get the demon keys before you fight her, so that not only is your doom laser powerful enough to kill her super fast, because literally I watched a video and like the guy killed her like three times as fast as I would have with my laser. 
No one told me that though, you know what I mean? Like I didn't actually look up a walkthrough. I was just sort of free balling it. And I just said, you know what? I just wanna I just wanna finish it. I just wanna kill this demon and see what it's all about. This is what I wanted to see. The mother of all demons is dead. Blood pours from our eyes as you stand in defiance. As the only marine to endure the slaughter, you decide to remain in hell and ensure no demon ever rises again. The end. What a definitive in ending to Doom that never happened, because there's a bunch of Dooms. I like it though. Zombie man. Oh, we get to learn their names now. Do I have to pull the trigger, or does it just does it do it automatically on my own? Because I hate to push the button and it just skips it. Or do I have to push the button? Oh, you do? Oh, that's awesome. Shotgun guy. Doesn't look that much different from Zombie Man, honestly. Other than his gun sounds different. Imp. These boys, they come back. They come back in Doom 3. And all the Dooms, really. I like how it's just a nightmare imp, but half invisible invis imps. I don't see them a lot. I don't remember them coming back. Demon, I thought they were pinkies. I guess that's how they got the name, because they're pink. But that's just the regular demon, which does the big bites towards you. Spectre. It's a pinky, but he's yellow and invisible. I hate those enemies the most. The Lost Souls on this old, the old school games, those guys are unfair. I think they are more unfair than the final boss. They just do way more damage than you think, and they move so fast. Caco Demon, that's what they were called. I think I was calling them Capper Demons, but they're Caco Demon. Hell Knight. Hell yeah, look at this guy. He's cool. I wish I had a shotgun that killed him in one shot, though. That'd be nice. Baron of Hell. He's a Hell Knight, but he's red. Arachnatron. Dual plasma cannons. Tough guys. I don't like them. Weird how their head just melts. These guys, I hate them, too. Pain elementals, because they spawn lost souls. Jerks. Mancubus. Dual rocket launcher big boys. Not a problem, really. If you know how to handle them, if you have distance. The Cyber Demon. He was the final boss in a few Dooms, I believe. He was a midway boss this time. Well, maybe not midway, maybe two thirds. Arhito. They gave him a sprite. Oh, you have to shoot him too. That's weird. Zombie man. He comes back. Shotgun. Do you just keep on shooting them? This is the end. You get to just keep on shooting them. That's nice. Do you get points for each one you shoot? Glad I shot that lost soul again. I did not know this was the last level. I could have swore. I must have messed up somewhere. Because I could have sworn, like, the next mission we were doing was cat and mouse. Or maybe I was wrong. Alright, I'm gonna leave it here on the hero. <laughs> There's Doom 64. I cheated, I admitted it. But I did have a fun time with this game. After dying to that final boss a bunch of times, then looking it up and realizing that I'd have to go do other stuff <laughs> to get the keys, just to make the boss fight a little bit easier. By the way, I, did, I used the cheat code to get the keys and then the keys still didn't work for me. So I was like, oh, okay, well, that's the way you want to be. I guess I'll be invulnerable while I do this then. And it was fun. It was fun. I see what they were trying to do. I see what they were doing. Old school games sometimes do that to where, like, you know, you, you gotta find different ways to build longevity out of your games, you know what I mean? And that was a fine way of doing it for back then. But man, like, I I was like, are you serious? Like, you want me to go back? You want me to do what? You know what I mean? 
I was supposed to write down all those level codes so that I could go back and get the keys if I missed them. Like, this really, this really was a trial and error sort of way of gaming back then. Like, unless you had a friend or the internet or Game Informer or something along those lines, you were just there playing the game over and over again going, I guess that you need to get good. And then before you know it, you have like 500 plus hours in Doom 64, which is fine, but still. It, compared to this day and era, that's, that's, uh, it's brutal. It's brutal. And it's, it's kind of a good thing. Because for, for people who didn't go playing through these games, it really makes you appreciate how games have evolved. Because it used to be like this, where there was a gimmick to build longevity. And then we had a sweet middle ground to where it was either innovative or just good, just fun. And now we have this weird problem in the industry where it's like it has this sort of, you have to have, you have caution when it comes to AAA gaming because you don't know if you're gonna get a good game or a real lemon that was rushed out that they'll fix as it's already out and sold. And it's like, why would you, why do you want to do that? I don't know. But I, I actually would recommend to new gamers to actually go back and play these older games and face the difficult challenges that they provide because then it makes you like, honestly, I feel like it makes you a stronger gamer and it prepares you for different situations that you, that you didn't even think about going forward, like in other games. You look at other games in different ways. Like sometimes it makes you think, wow, this game was actually easy in comparisons to this other game. Now other times it just teaches you different lessons, different ideas of how to solve puzzles that you didn't even think about. And that's what led to like people in my era that were older than me finding all the secrets in other games that I played. And I was like, well, how'd you even find that? And I was like, well, back in the day, they had games like this where you were sort of half incentivized to find the secrets. And then you had Thing, magazines like Game Informer, or I forget the name of the Nintendo magazine, whatever it was called, to where it would it would give you hints or even full blown walkthroughs of a game, then show you where the secrets are. Like, and sometimes it would be a teaser. It will only show you some of them. You know what I mean? It really makes you appreciate gaming as a whole when it comes to good games, at least and game design. So yeah. Yeah. I appreciate Doom 64 for what it was, and maybe I'll go through some of the other Dooms later on. But, I'm gonna leave this one right here. Thank you all. Ewok Templar, that was Doom 64. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. I'll see you all in the next game. Y'all take it easy. Sort of a trial and error thing. I really hate those yellow fireball things because they sort of thump you into the air. And as you can see here, like I, I would have been dead by now again. I would have been dead by now with these homing missiles. That is a lot of damage you have to do to her. That is that is banana sandwich difficult. <laughs>